Good morning, folks and family. It's Raymond X the Prophet again, coming from my apartment bedroom, and it's 7:59 a.m., almost 8 o'clock. It's Friday, July 17, 2020. On a Friday morning, it's 7:59 a.m., and this is the Word for the Day, Part 2.5, for April 16, 2020. Once again, the Word for the Day, Part 2.5, April 16, 2020. This is only one journal entry. And it's a bit lengthy, so this video may take about 20-25 minutes, I'm guessing. So instead of doing the uh, Bible versus uh, the summary, I'm just going to skip over the summary and go to each one individually and see where we go from there. Okay, so there's only one journal entry on this one. April 15th, which is supposed to be tax day, and tax day was two days ago, uh, right now. So this is the April 15, 2020, 8.34 p.m., the only one journal entry. This is what Jesus told me during worship that evening. You just keep working for me. I will tell you when to stop making videos. All in good time. Keep your focus on me, your King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and follow me. I know you will, Glenn, because I have read your heart. I know you will follow me wherever I go, even to the ends of the earth in heaven. Jesus. This is Jesus speaking once again. You just keep working for me. I will tell you when to stop making videos. All in good time. Keep your focus on me, your King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and follow me. I know you will, Glenn, because I have read your heart. I know you will follow me wherever I go, even to the ends of the earth and heaven. Jesus. Okay, this is a bit lengthy, so just kind of hang in there with me. We're going to go and start with 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 7. For the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I refused him, for the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Psalm 19, verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the mediation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 34, verse 18. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 51, verse 10. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Psalm 57, verse 7. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise. Psalm 91, verses 14 and 15. Because he has set his love upon me, Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall come up all me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Psalm 112, verse 7. You know, he will, be, he will not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Psalms, I'm sorry, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. Psalm, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> Proverbs chapter 21, verse 2. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the hearts. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 9 and 10. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked who can know it. I, the Lord, search the heart, I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 7. Then I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people. And I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. And you will seek me and find me, when you search for me with all your heart. Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 19. And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within them, and take the stony heart out of their flesh, and give them a heart of flesh. 
Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. Then he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew chapter 8, verse 22. But Jesus said to them, Follow me, and let the dead bury their own dead. Matthew chapter 9, verse 9. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. So he rose and followed him. Matthew chapter 15, verses 18 through 20. But those things that proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, and defile man, for out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile a man. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross, then follow me. Matthew chapter 19, verse 21. Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. Mark chapter 2, verse 14. As he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, Follow me. So he rose and followed him. Mark chapter 8, verse 34. When he had called the people to himself with his disciples also, he said to them, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Mark chapter 10, verse 21. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, One thing you lack, go your way, sell whatever you have, and give to the poor and you'll have treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. Luke chapter 5, verse 27. After these things, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi, sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. Luke chapter 9, verses 23 and 59. Then he said to them all, And if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Then he said to another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. Luke chapter 12, verses 33 and 34. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourself money bags which do not grow old. A treasure in the heavens that does not fail. Where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. For where your heart, where your treasure is, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Luke chapter 18, verse 22. So when Jesus heard these things, he said to him, You still lack one thing, sell all that you have, and distribute to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. John chapter 1, verse 43. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and know them, and I know them, and they follow me. John chapter 12, verse 26. If anyone serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. John chapter 13, verse 36. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I'm going, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow me afterward. John chapter 17, verse 3. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. John chapter 21, verse 19. This, is, this he spoke, signifying by what death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said to him, Follow me. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5. Now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere faith. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of God is living and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, 
piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and inherent intents of the heart. James chapter 4 verse 8 Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Finally, Revelation chapter 14 verses 1 through 5, key verse 4. Then I looked, and behold, a lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him one hundred and forty-four thousand, having his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the voice of many waters, and like the voice of loud thunder. And I heard the sound of harpists playing their harps. They sing as it were a new song before the throne, before the, living, before the four living creatures and the elders. And no one can learn that song except the 144,000 who were redeemed from the earth. These are the ones who are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. These were redeemed from among men, being firstfruits to God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no deceit, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Okay, folks and family, the Spotify worship song that closes out is a Spanish worship song by Christine De Clario, and the name of the song is called Dios de Maravillos. Dios de Maravillos. Villas. Villas. Dios de Maravillas. Maravillas. This is by Christine DeClario, and I'll post a link to that in the description box below, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. Okay, folks and family, that's the word for today, part 2.5, April 16, 2020. It's 8.24 a.m. This is the word for today, part 2.5, April 16, 2020, and it's 8.25 a.m., Friday, July 17, 2020. God bless you all and everything you do today. Take care of yourselves. Be safe out there. God bless you. God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Very, very soon. Get ready for His return. This is your day of salvation, your day of repentance, your day to redeem yourself. This is your decision day. I love you all very much, and I'll see you in the next video upload. Lord willing. Bye-bye for now. Take care. I love you all.